All right, so you might have noticed I switched screens real quick. I had another interruption, but this time I, I think we will use this. Okay, so here we have a seahorse that I'm working on. All right, so just as it before in Photoshop, you hold the space bar down and you left click and then you can move this around. So um, sometimes I've noticed with the Mac that it doesn't always do that. The hand won't come up, so usually I end up having to use these arrows for a second or two, and then I can do that glitchy, I guess. Um, I have a mouse as well, and I can scroll with the wheel to zoom in. Another awesome thing about this, I can hold the command key down on the Mac and hit the bracket keys, and I can rotate um, my canvas, which is, if you've um, drawn before, you know how awesome this is because you can um, do that and then you can zoom in again maybe grab this and move it and then you can uh, you know draw a little bit easier on certain angles so once again that's command and the bracket keys to the left or the right of the, the left actually sorry to the right of the letter P there's the two bracket keys um, and then the plus and the minus right above that are your zoom keys not the Z key from Photoshop. Um, so anywho, let's let's hide some things I've done here. Um, hide my scales, my fins. Hide some stuff. Okay, so let's say this in here. So let's let's decide, and this is how I actually made um, his nose and his crown thing here. So let's say let's move this out, and let's say I want to change these a bit. So I can take this uh, right here, this selection thing. I'll go over here, and let's make sure we're on the right layer because that's very important, just like in Photoshop. And we're going to put uh, line art because that's what my pencil line's on. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, this right here. Let's say I will draw around this. Whatever. And then I will hit transform button right there. And I can move these around here. or I can make them bigger or smaller or whatever um, but what I want to do is I want to hit this warp button right here and then I can grab this and I can warp them out I have a lot of fun with that hit enter to keep it way, the way I want it. Um, I have not experimented with these as much, um, but there are all different things you can do as well. And then I'm going to hit go up here, hit select, and hit deselect. And I'll stop that. Or I can just command Z, go back in time and no harm. One last thing I wanted to say before I leave here, I know this video is getting a little long here, but you can change your opacity here, um, and that would be for this pen right here, but you're going to have a full capacity over here, so there's multiple opacities we can work with. Um, these right here, if I had more than one layer, let's say my apple layer, if I wanted to change something here, I could make it go up or down. So if you wanted to delete a layer, you actually hit... You click on it and hit delete, and that will delete that single layer. Um, if you have any questions, you can let me know or you can Google it. We'll figure it out together. Um, uh, stay tuned. Come back because I'm actually going to show you how I painted this and um, kind of show you some tips and tricks I figured out on the way. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, please like, um, let me know in the comments, and subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, and have a good one.